Welcome to InfoSource, a presentation of Berkshire Healthcare Systems, a not-for-profit, consumer-centered organization committed to fulfilling the health and residential needs of the communities across Massachusetts we serve. I'm your host, Jenny Sutherland. With me this afternoon are two fine folks from Berkshire County, Maria Kraft, Administrator from Mount Greylock Extended Care Facility right here in Pittsfield, Massachusetts, and Duffy Judge, Development Manager from Berkshire United Way, also located in Pittsfield, Massachusetts, your home office, but you have some other offices in South County and North County that you work with, uh, and welcome for coming on. Thanks for having me. Thank you for having us. Uh, I want to talk about both of your organizations, Maria Mount Greylock as one of our affiliates of Berkshire Healthcare System, and Duffy about the Berkshire United Way, mm -hmm. and then our, our kind of partnering together as a group. So Maria, um, as administrator of Mount Greylock, there's, there's really nobody who knows that place better than you, so can you tell us about Mount Greylock? Thank you, Jenny. Um, Mount Greylock is an amazing place. We have quite the population of residents who reside there who receive skilled nursing care, yep. um, physical therapy, occupational therapy, and speech therapy for mm -hmm. short-term rehab. Mm -hmm. We also have a long-term population, and we partner with hospice care in the Berkshires to offer hospice services. Um, as well as some palliative care services that are now coming on board. Mm -hmm. And those uh, services are delivered from the most amazing staff that I can ask for, yep. from housekeeping, laundry, the kitchen, to my nurses, and the CNAs who really are the backbone of the, of the population there. So um, the kitchen really helps as well to keep things happening, and activities are always part of activities of daily living. So. It's a great, well-rounded organization. Well, I'm, I'm definitely going to agree with you because uh, for uh, for a while I, I was a member of the team there mm -hmm. at Mount yes. Greylock and enjoyed uh, working and, and being with everybody and the residents there. There's still some folks that I pr pretty well know and uh, I like to check in on them. And, and folks there do work very hard. So um, Yes, they do. Uh, and basically because their hearts and minds are connected to... Um, our mission mm -hmm. uh, and they love the residents. Yes, they do. They, they the put residents. their heart and soul into it every day. Yeah. It's very nice. So an, another organization that loves the community is in the whole is the Berkshire United Way and Duffy you're here from from uh, your group to talk about that. So I know the Berkshire United Way has a lot going on and you and I can do a whole show on that. Indeed. But a synopsis of what you sir do there and also of, of your organization. Um, so you mentioned earlier I'm the development manager, which means I'm part of the fundraising team there in mm -hmm. support of the goals of our community impact team, which are the out in, out in the community hoping to impact meaningful change. Sure. Um, the main piece of my job as development manager is as a liaison with what are called their workplace campaigns. Mm -hmm. um, there are over 170 businesses in the Berkshires or in, within our service area, which is Lanesboro, South to Sheffield, um, that through their work, workplace, they have a giving campaign. And we are well represented at each one of those locations by a volunteer who serves as an employee campaign coordinator. So myself and the rest of my campaign team, which consists of other volunteers, workplace campaign executives, we establish relationships with these employee campaign coordinators, set up the campaigns in the fall, give presentations, get out there, just try to spread the word about Berkshire United Way. Um, and most of the time it's done through payroll deduction for these people, which is an easy, great way to, yeah. to give to us. And I mean, it is an easy, quick way, mm -hmm. and I know at Mount Greylock, you you folks have been doing that for a long time. I did mm -hmm. it there mm -hmm. when I was a team member there. I know um, you just run a couple of days where you set up a table and say, hey, would you like to give to the United Way? And I'm going to say this. One of the most cleverest things, because Duffy here will help people come up with ways to get people's attention and Correct. stuff, and I'm going to say it, was uh, here's a table at Mount Greylock set up. We're going to sign up for payroll deduction. And if you signed up for uh, payroll deduction, you got a donut. <laughs> and I, or I, two. I ba Back then, I did not know it would now be a collectible donut because it was from the donut man yes. who is no longer in existence. And so I gave a donation. And so I think it was for $52, I got a blueberry donut from the donut man that if in hindsight I would have kept it, it would be a collector's items. But people do all kinds of things to, to generate um, folks giving a donation. And it is easy. 
um, to sign up and have that dollar taken away. Um, and, and, you know, for some people, that, that's a huge thing. It's a, it's, and so I thank everybody for giving what they can. Mm -hmm. And I know at that time they can also do a one-time donation. Correct. Yeah, you can do cash, check, payroll deduction. And I may be stepping on our script, but bah, bah. one of the most important things to realize, Jenny, is you alluded to $1 a week. Yep. That's $52. There might be people out there who think, well, what would that mean in the grand scheme of mm -hmm. things? This is a collective. This mm -hmm. is a collective approach to helping our community move forward. And the fundraising piece is a collective just like that. Every single dollar matters. For $52, you can impact a life. Whether you, It's hard to believe, but you can't. No, so I, we I don't ever that. want people to be dissuaded oh, by no. thinking, I can't give enough to make an impact. Any amount makes an impact. No. And I have to tell you what, what you said, Maria Kraft, having worked with you, you were always very good about if, if an organization was looking for that and supporting people to think about that. And that's kind of what mm -hmm. she instilled in yeah. me. And during when we would do the, this campaign, she would say, you know, some people can't. Uh, because they're on a tight budget, but mm -hmm. she would always say, you know, remind people they can give, you know, if they can give five bucks total, yeah. right. that five is, and they feel good and that's helping and stuff. So I thank you for that because that's, that's an important bit of that. So the payroll campaign, Mount Greylock has always done. Yes. Um, and our other affiliates in Berkshire County have always done too. Mm -hmm. um, but we are moving forward with our relationship with Berkshire United Way. And when we come back from break, we're going to talk about how not only Mount Greylock, but our other affiliates in Berkshire County, along with, with the Berkshire United Way, are going to come together to raise some more money for you guys so you can help other folks in the community. So uh, we're going to take a quick break. You're going to watch a little more about Mount Greylock, extended care facility. When we come back, we're going to talk about some more opportunities. Back in a minute. Nestled near the wooded and serene Springside Park, Mount Greylock Extended Care Facility is just minutes from downtown Pittsfield, in the heart of the beautiful and culturally rich Berkshire County in western Massachusetts. Mount Greylock Extended Care Facility offers you the best of both worlds. It's a locally run facility, staffed by dedicated healthcare professionals from the central Berkshire area and it's backed by the expertise and resources of Berkshire Healthcare, the largest nonprofit long-term care provider in the area. Berkshire Healthcare is committed to fulfilling the health and residential needs of the people in the communities we serve. Mount Greylock is a proud recipient of the American Healthcare Association's National Quality Award. The Quality Awards recognize members' commitment to performance excellence, by continuously demonstrating ever-improving value to residents and other customers. The Bronze, Silver, and Gold Awards recognize overall organizational effectiveness and capabilities and champion organizational and personal learning. At Mount Greylock, we pride ourselves on our deep commitment to our community. We offer a broad range of nursing home services, including short-term rehabilitation, skilled nursing, long-term care, hospice, and respite care services. We proudly offer an elegant, home-like setting that allows our residents the comforts they expect while providing the care they need, including fine dining in our graciously appointed dining room, beautiful outdoor space, ample activities, and private family space. At the heart of it all is a focus on the body, mind, and spirit. Our rehab services include physical, occupational, and speech therapy. Our licensed therapy professionals help restore and maintain the body by focusing on helping our residents improve strength and mobility in order to participate in the activities they most enjoy. These services are provided up to seven days a week when ordered by a physician. Mount Greylock is more than a place to live. It's a place to enjoy each day to the fullest. Our activities program focuses on the mind and spirit of our residents by offering engaging leisure and recreational activities, arts and crafts, music, discussion groups, exercise sessions, religious services, and cultural community outings and more. Each resident at Mount Greylock receives the highest quality care delivered by our dedicated staff members working as a team. 
from the nursing staff to our front office personnel. Everyone is enthusiastic about the role he or she plays in the lives of the people who entrust us with their care. Our staff is committed to providing compassionate care, using teamwork as their guiding principle. We're dedicated to treating each person with dignity, recognizing their individual needs, goals, and preferences. We create a care plan for each person focused on helping them achieve the highest level of independence and quality of life. At Mount Greylock Extended Care Facility, we're perfecting the art of superior care. If you or a loved one need short-term rehab, extra care after a hospital stay, or a nursing supervised full-time living arrangement, we invite you to tour and meet our staff. See firsthand how we enhance the lives of those we serve. To make arrangements or get more information, call 413-499-7186. We look forward to meeting you. Welcome back to InfoSource. With me is Maria Kraft, Administrator of Mount Greylock Extended Care Facility. You just saw a video clip about her home, one of the affiliates of Berkshire Healthcare Systems. I love watching that one because I, I just started working with you folks at Mount Greylock when we, when we shot that, and there are still people living and working uh, exactly. that are in that video. Mm -hmm. So it was nice to see coworkers that tomorrow if I stop by, I can say hey to and stuff. Um, and residents, so that to me, even though it's been it's almost seven years yeah. now, uh, is is really cool. Along with Maria Kraft from Mount Greylock is my friend and someone I respect so much in the community is Duffy Judge from Berkshire United Way Development Manager. We're talking about, and we have talked about the payroll deduction, that uh, 178, give or take, plus or minus, um, businesses in in Berkshire County take part in. And I think that's wonderful. Uh, sometimes there's a, a business or a small business, I would suspect, that because of whatever reasons can't do that. They, yes. they don't have the support structure. Or there's folks that have, uh, it's just themselves. They don't do that. And I know there's lots of different ways people can give to you guys. But Mount Greylock, along with the other affiliates in Berkshire County, are going to offer uh, kind of a party, which I'm always down for. <laughs> so, Maria Kraft, you and what other affiliate of Berkshire Healthcare um, System? We will be partnering with Hospice Care in the Berkshires All right, so. and another organization that gives back to the community as well. And we are going, we're in the pr planning process planning at this it time out. to have an afternoon or an evening get together um, to offer snacks and so a networking Cocktails event and networking, to come, to come yes. together. For those, as you mentioned, who do not have the opportunity to set up payroll deductions, but it's a nice way to come to see what we might do yep. um, and help them to also maybe get that process on board if they can. Sure. If not, then they can. we can help them make the donation to the Berkshire United Way and um, and to partner and to yeah. see who else is out there who and, and then to learn more about the United yeah. Way and what services in Berkshire County this money goes to. Yeah, and I think that's that's a really cool opportunity for folks is to give them an opportunity, a place where they can come and show support because people like that. that. People give for many different reasons, but sometimes it, it really, that feeling good of handing you, mm -hmm. you know, a check for 20 bucks or whatever people can give because mm -hmm. really anything as we said before helps but at this event which is still forming so yes. I get it yeah. although of course I want a big Jagunda party okay. but we'll see I'm not looking <laughs> no pressure Duffy and, and your your crew will be there to talk about the United Way yep. um, because the other thing um, that even small businesses need to know is sometimes their their staff their team needs help too mm -hmm. and as I've had a, a, my relationship with you guys and my understanding mm -hmm. of, of your organization has grown finding out what our um, team members can can take advantage of is wonderful so you will be at some point in the near future probably in September August yes, early uh, early fall advertising out for folks to come to Mount Greylock um, and Hospice Care in the Berkshire yes. and you are going to put on a little party. Mm -hmm. I know Hillcrest Commons and Pittsfield is going to do the same thing. Yes. Fairview Commons down in South County, Williamstown Commons and North Adams Commons will be doing the same thing in North County, coming together for a, an event to raise money for you guys and give other small businesses and professionals an opportunity to donate. Now, Duffy, when you do events like that, again, any amount helps. 
Hundred percent. And I think Berkshire County proves day in, day out that it's that's a very generous, mm -hmm. supportive county. When somebody's down, people are always reaching down to pick somebody up. Mm -hmm. um, and any amount is completely acceptable and more than welcome. Um, but what's also exciting about events like these is letting people know what is happening in the community, what need is out there, what we are doing to address that, those needs. Mm -hmm. You and I have had the conversation probably bi-weekly since, yeah. um, since the holidays in the winter that <clears throat> the likelihood of you not knowing someone who's impacted by a program that either Berkshire United Way mm -hmm. is coordinating or helping to fund is almost zero provided yeah. if they're a, a yeah. county resident. No, I resident. believe that. So we, we really, besides the generosity of Berkshire Healthcare Systems and the people who will be there, the opportunity to share our message is just as important to us. Yeah, and I think that's one of the things, again, our <coughs> affiliates have done the payroll deduction, but I mean, you as a leader, Maria, if, if you can have some of your team members educated about some of the programs, that must... right mean something to you and it's because sometimes we have to offer it to the employees yeah, sure. that are working for us so yeah. um, knowing everything that the united way offers we can we can trickle that down through our employees to their families and it's a nice way to get that um, yeah. teamwork together yeah so. i mean that's that's how a team stays together Correct. supporting them so um, again another wonderful reason why i'm so thrilled about partnering with you guys further is that um, people that I work with, I mean, it could be me someday, and, and that's just one change in my life. Yep. Um, I said uh, it would be interesting to have you back on and, and talk about the, the book, uh, little book library. Yeah, the book the houses. Set. Yes. And um, Maria, you've seen those drive around, mm -hmm. the, and aren't yes. those charming? They are. They're really nice. And so I want to switch it up a minute because I'll go back to the, <laughs> the, the, the event thing and say that th those are quite the inspiration and, and, and a lot goes into that, yes. Yes, no, there, there is that, um, that's a huge program. There are 51 of them throughout the county. Ah, I can't believe um, it. And what they are is, is standalone book houses that are at parks. Um, there's one at the Carousel in Pittsfield. Yep. Um, and it's take a book, leave a book. And you know, any, studies anywhere and by any measure, liter early childhood literacy is an incredibly important component of developing the skills necessary to succeed. And this, the book houses are an opportunity to book, put books in the hands of children who might not normally have access to them. I think, I think that's great. Um, and I, I, when you said the, the number, 52, 58, did you say? It's like 51, I 51. think. I, I don't quote. I, okay, now I'm not gonna quote you. <laughs> I was lucky I was in the 50s. There's 1,000, no, 50 something. I think is a, a great, great number and they're all across Berkshire County so yep. um, and they're, they're, what's really awesome is a lot of them are around playgrounds yep so you have that exercising the body and exercising the brain sure. kind of working in concert with each other sure um, so one of the things I, I'd like to why we're on TV and why I wanted to ask Marie Craft here was again all the affiliates in Berkshire County are going to have an event for the United Way Yes. But as part of yours, I'd like to kind of do a, a book drive, a kid's book You just book read drive. my mind. <laughs> See, I knew. I was thinking the same See, thing. I knew that. And that's why yes. I brought the book thing up. Mm -hmm. Because I think that's yet another way we can help support. And even if our team helps cycle them through the different yes. books yeah. around. Absolutely. Um, so, um, and I know you're very kind and you have wonderful daughters yourself. Yep. And I know how important supporting the kids are. Mm -hmm. um, so part of Mount Greylock and, and Hospice Care in the Berkshires event for you guys will be a, a book drive. A book, a drive. Kids book yes. drive. So yeah. That is amazing. Thank yeah. you. Mm -hmm. no. so, see, I worked that. Yeah, it was good. Right. I'll wash your car. <laughs> One I'm for you. Okay. It's a white now, isn't it? It's you a white. white. Yeah. All right. All right. I'll take extra good care of it. Though. Yes. All right. So um, with our relationship, and we mentioned how Maria really wants her staff to, to know, um, and the staff's family and friends, um, because as you said, you don't know who's affected. Uh, there's early childhood yep. literacy, um, and you wanna talk about the couple other areas? That you focus <clears throat> yeah, so, on? so we, there are three areas that we focus on, early childhood development, mm -hmm. positive youth development, mm -hmm. and economic prosperity. Um, United Way funds and supports programs for, with what we call from cradle to career for 
young parents trying to navigate those very, very scary first few months mm -hmm. as you're trying to figure out how do I, you know, how do I create an environment mm -hmm. that will nurture my child, um, right up through the, all right, how are we going to make them ready for school? And then in positive youth development, how are we going to allow them to make the right choices? Sure. As well as figuring out a plan for post-graduation, be it through the workforce or college. How, how are they going to be doing that? And then in economic prosperity, you know, the issues you face at the teen level or the childhood level are generally trickle down, right? Mm -hmm. So if we can have an ec economically prosperous family, yeah. a lot of the other social, social issues in, in that we face are mitigated. Sure. A bit. Um, yeah. But there are programs through Berkshire Children and Families, um, Gladys Allen Women's Center, um, Greenagers, which is a work program for older folks, uh, or for, not older folks, but teenagers. Um, Berkshire Botanical Gardens has, has a program. So it's not, it isn't the old fashioned United Way model that you might no. think of. There are certainly large amounts of social services funded, but there are also programs that we like to think of as aspirational sure, um, sure. as well. And with the hopes of kids being ready to go to school, when they're in school, having the tools in front of them to make healthy choices, and when they get out of school, being, being employed in a way that they want to or pursuing an avenue of study that they want to. And I think to support that <coughs> life track instead of gen just one aspect, yep. then when they age out, there's nothing there, I think is so smart uh, of your organization to do that. So that's pretty cool. When... Um, we did do the payroll deduction, and I did it at Mount Greylock. Mm -hmm. um, there was opportunity that you could pick where you wanted your money mm -hmm. to go to. Is that still? Yeah, there's a couple options for that. You can you can pick within the Berkshire United Way model of if there's an area within that of I want to focus on early childhood development. I want to support positive mm -hmm. youth development. I want to support economic prosperity. Um, there's also an opportunity to designate to a specific organization if you're so inclined. Some people, yep. I think that that has meaning to them. They might have been helped by that organization right. in the past, or mm -hmm. know somebody there. Um, all right, I am looking forward to all the events. The one, especially mm -hmm. at Mount Greylock, uh, for you because we're going to do a book drive. And so yep. I think you kind of got a little hustled on that one, but that's okay. <laughs> um, so Maria Kraft, if people are interested, would like more information about Mount Greylock, maybe a tour from our ship friend Siobhan Melendez. Yeah. What's the number of Mount Greylock? It's area code 413-499-7186 mm -hmm. and you can ask for Maria or Siobhan and we will be more than happy to help you get the information you need. Yeah, I think that's a good idea to do that and in the very near future you'll be sending out invitations you along yes. with uh, Hospice Care in the Berkshire to invite small businesses mm -hmm. Uh, or professionals to yes. come for that uh, and if they want information about that they can call you and yes. make sure they get on the mailing and so. if we miss you in the mailing if you're watching this show you're more than welcome, welcome to, to come yeah you have more the merrier and we'll take your money anytime yes. <laughs> <laughs> don't even wait for the yeah, event yeah you don't have to come to the event all right wow and we'll add on the book thing too and Duffy for you if folks um, have any questions about your program they can call you 413-442-6948. Okay, and again, we want to shout out that Berkshire Healthcare Systems, the affiliates in Berkshire County, are going to be reaching out to small businesses and professionals to give them opportunity to join us to help support the United Way. It'll be a networking event with some food, some good times. I'm looking for some music, uh, but the main thing is to get information about the United Way so we're supporting the community, our staff, our friends, our loved ones, but also to raise some money. So, Maria Kraft, thank you for coming on the show. I'm going to thank you in advance for the book drive. For you're the welcome. Book libraries. Uh, what is it, borrowing? Also, thank you. Thank you're you. Welcome. No, thank you. You're welcome. Take a book, thank leave you. a book. Take a book, leave a book. But if you don't have a book to leave, you can always take a book. Take a book. Yes, and that, that is great. And, and Duffy, thank you. Uh, and thank you all of the crew over at Berkshire United Way. Your leader, Christine, is, is just a dynamite lady. Yes. I know um, I am looking forward to seeing her at some of these events, so thank you for coming. I am going to thank people out there for watching, and I'm going to remind you that InfoSource TV show is a presentation of Berkshire Healthcare Systems. I wish you good health, good life, and until next time, see ya.